Hi everyone, this is Dr. Palacios here, and we're here to answer another migraine questions regarding natural supplements. Today's episode is going to be involving magnesium. So the comment goes as following. Yes, I take magnesium glycinate as one of my supplements as I don't tolerate prescription meds. It is supposed to be one of the most absorbable forms. According to my neurologist, migraine sufferers are typically low on magnesium. Now, this is an excellent example of how migraine sufferers tend to take magnesium either without their medications or in addition to their medications. So now let's take a look at what magnesium is and what it does in the body. So to start, let's talk a little bit about what magnesium is. So magnesium is a type of mineral that has about 300 different processes in the body. So it is virtually seen and used in the whole body in three major areas, protein synthesis, muscle function, and nerve function. Now protein synthesis is the machinery of the cell. And obviously that's an important component that magnesium takes part of and needs to be used constantly. Now, when it comes to muscle usage, magnesium helps the muscles relax, prevent cramps, and even help for sleep. That's why there are many clinical studies showing its relaxation effects on people. And that's because magnesium is used to protect the mitochondria and regenerate at a faster pace. And finally, for the usage of nerve function, magnesium helps to protect the mitochondria, just like in muscles, but in difference, in contrast, the nerves are going to make very better connections within each other and provide more protection to the brain itself. And this is how it can help with people with migraines, because again, migraines isn't a form of headache per se, but it's rather a form of neurological dysfunction. Now, you may be wondering, what kind of supplements should I take? or what form of magnesium should I take for my specific migraines or even other conditions. Now, this is a matter of opinion to some extent because there are not necessarily many clinical applications and studies on the specific forms of magnesiums to compare which one is best. The only clinical studies that we have, and we're gonna go over it soon, are oxide, magnesium oxide, and then magnesium sulfate, which is the intravenous form. But before we get into the different kinds of magnesiums, let's try to tackle where can you find magnesium in foods? Because after all, it is always best to consume the nutrient, the mineral, the vitamin from the food sources. So these are the three foods that you can find where you can find magnesium. The first one is cashews. The second one is buckwheat. And the third one is pumpkin seeds, which also tend to have high levels of zinc. Now, the form of magnesium that experts recommend based on their studies are magnesium oxide, which in essence doesn't have that much absorption from other forms of magnesium. But they found in studies that women with premenstrual migraines have reduced their episodes, but just by taking magnesium oxide. So it makes me wonder if they taken a magnesium with higher absorption, if they would have even less episodes of migraines. And then the other one that is used intravenously, and the best thing about that is as it goes into your blood, it's going to go directly into your blood brain barrier and into your brain. Now that form of magnesium sulfate is going to protect the neurons in the brain like we talked about, and it's going to help reduce the symptoms of aura. So those are the flashes of light or sometimes the phenomena of hearing things, smelling things that are not there. It hasn't been shown much against the level of pain or nausea, but it does help with migraine sufferers who have aura. Now, if you think magnesium is a supplement that you'd like to try and add it to your migraine toolkit, 
please feel free to reach out and we'll find out which form of magnesium could work best for you. And also keep in mind that this additional supplement plus the lifestyle modifications such as exercise, diet, and stress are all going to be the major shifts into your condition. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.